Alright guys, I know I usually joke around on my channel, but there's no more joking around. It's time to get serious. We gotta turn into ghost hunters. Hi guys, it's Adria, and for today's video, I'm a bit scared. Guys, you will never believe this. Alright, so when I was editing one of my recent videos where I was talking about adult things that I can't do, I saw something in the background. It was edited out of the original video, so if you go back and watch it, you won't see it. It was a ghost an orb, a ghost, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to insert the clip now so that you can see it. Yeah, when I saw that clip, I was like, I was trying to weigh out what it could be. Sometimes maybe you have a piece of jewelry, it reflects off something. What makes me believe a lot that this is some kind of spirit, ghost, orb type thing is the fact that it looks like it came out from behind that piece of furniture back there. Did you see that? I don't know. I mean, it was bright green. That is another thing. It wasn't like white because sometimes I do get like glares on my camera that look like orbs, sometimes dust or something, but this was a bright green dot. I'm going to look up what a green orb is. Am I gonna die? Is Satan coming for me, girl? Help! Honest to God, I need to go back to church. Like, for real. So apparently, I did not know this, but orbs come in different colors. I thought maybe they were all just white or kind of clearish. Different colors mean different things. Let's see what the green means. Green orbs. In spiritual practice, green is associated with the heart. It is also associated with nature. Green orbs are sometimes thought to be an indication of the presence of a human spirit. Okay, so it's not a demon. We can weigh that out. It wasn't a demon. That makes me feel a bit better. I can live with, you know, spirits. He should pay rent, though. We're gonna split the rent three ways, okay? I'm sure he'll be fine with that. It's thought to be an indication of the presence of a human spirit as opposed to one that was never on Earth in human form. That's good. Likewise, green orbs may represent love or oneness with nature. Okay, so if in fact that was a little green orb, and what is an orb anyway? Is an orb a ghost? Orbs, formerly called spirit orbs, are those semi-transparent white balls seen floating around in many photographs taken in ghostly locations, visible only to cameras and not to the naked eye. Orbs, the ghost in the camera. All right, so I'm gonna do something a little scary. And if you're a little scared by ghost investigating, you're free to go. Class dismissed, bye. There was always that teacher, the bell doesn't dismiss you, I do. And then you would be late to your next class because of that one teacher. Much. What's happening? What? What is on my phone? Why is there, okay. As much as I didn't want to do this, I downloaded a ghost app so that maybe we can find a ghost. Grass. Okay, that was fast, I wasn't ready for it. It said grass, which, okay, that, that website said that a green orb could be associated with nature, so maybe, maybe there's a hippie ghost living in my house? That could be it. It's not picking anything up on the radar. Normally when it see- Follow? Oh my gosh, my hand is shaking. I'm trying to hold it so still. Oh, oh, look, look, there's a ghost right there. What does that mean? Okay, oh, it went away. Yeah, all right, I don't know what a blue one means. Maybe I'll try talking to it. Is there any ghosts in here? Anyone? Speak now or forever hold your peace. If you're a ghost and you want to be on YouTube, say hello or something, or say a random word that I'll probably get scared about. Hello? Oh, it's back. Look. I'm trying to think what oh my gosh okay somebody texted me and it just scared me any ghosts in here ever in the history of mankind it's like a box of chocolates you never know what you're gonna get girl this advertisement no no i thought there was a ghost telling me that life is like a box of chocolates no okay so now it said fewer oh and if you were wondering what this app is this is the ghost radar app i wouldn't recommend messing with it just because if you saw my last paranormal experiences video which i'll have linked right here i mentioned that my sister and i were using this app and it said some things that were very relevant to our lives and it scared us and we deleted it we were like no so that's why i was a little hesitant to download it today but i wanted to try to you know see if we could summon that orb 
the orb from the kitchen. Some things happened after I filmed that video, so this is kind of a follow-up to that. The day after I filmed that video, Brandon told me that when he got up for work in the morning, it sounded like someone was breathing inside the shower. Okay. No. I remember being in middle school when I had to go to school super early in the morning. If I would go in the bathroom in the dark, I would always open that curtain and close it again, girl. Like, I had to look to see. For some reason, I always thought E.T. was going to be in my shower. I, why? Someone explain. I don't know why. If I heard breathing in the shower, I'd freak out. He then said maybe it was the pipes. I don't know. But... I also had a little bit of a weird encounter in the bathroom. I can't say for sure if this was a ghost or not, but I was taking a shower yesterday. There was no fans on, no air conditioning on, there was no windows open, nothing. Cause you know, sometimes if one of those things is happening, something can like, it can move something, you know? But yesterday when I was in the shower, the shower curtain is like wiggling, okay? Moving like in and out, in and out. I thought maybe Frida was out there playing with the curtain because, you know, she follows me into the bathroom sometimes, hangs out with me. I open the curtain, there's nothing there. Nothing. And just the way it was moving, it looked like someone was on the outside of it, like tapping it. Somebody make like a gif of that, please. Like, that might just be my imagination. Brandon kind of laughed at me for that, but I don't know. After I saw that orb when I was editing the other day, I just, I'm, I'm a bit on my tippy toes. I need to be friend of that orb so I can get him to pay some rent, you know? Okay, this was probably the worst one. The other night, I had my headphones on, I was editing on my computer, and he was playing video games, and all of a sudden we start hearing tons of noise coming from that back room back there right around where that orb came from okay girl no no comprende i do not mess with that back room i feel like something bad happened in there i thought maybe the cat was in there i looked around for her sure enough she was out here the door was closed i was just like what the heck is happening it goes away and then a couple minutes later bang 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 super loud coming from in there. There was nothing on in there. Our washing machine is broken. There's nothing in there. I like took my headphones off Brandon, like paused his game. It was that loud, okay? It wasn't just like, oh, something outside knocking over, a branch falling off a tree. Like, no, it sounded like there was something illegal going on in there. I start breathing super heavily and you know, sometimes I hear stuff and whatever, but this was the first time ever I asked Brandon to go in there and look. Normally, I just blow it off, whatever. We have apartment neighbors. Nobody lives above us though, in case, you know, you're new here. So I asked him to go in there. He looked, there was nothing in there. And then we didn't hear it again. Sometimes my neighbors do make noise. Sometimes I can hear things through the wall, but our walls are super thick. If Brandon were in the other room here and I'm out here, if the door is closed, we wouldn't be able to hear each other. So even if I can hear my neighbor, like one morning I woke up and I could hear my neighbor watching Breaking Bad, like, yeah. But that's only because my head was right up against the wall because I was sleeping. Um, if that was my neighbor, it would have had to have been hella loud, girl. I'm talking like blasting through a stereo system the size of this room. It sounded like something was happening in there. I don't know. I, I'm just gonna try the ghost app one more time before we end this just to see if we get anything. <gasps> look at, look at that. Is, <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> that looks like a green orb girl. Are there any ghosts in here? Is there anyone here? Anyone? Hello? If my neighbors could hear me, they would probably just think I'm psycho. They probably think that anyway. It doesn't look like anything's happening. All right, so again, that was the Ghost Radar app. If you guys wanna give that a try for yourself, I don't condone ghost hunting. I would advise you not to. Don't touch Ouija boards. Don't do the Bloody Mary challenge. Don't do any of that. Like, girl, don't go down that road. I, I've watched some spooky stuff on YouTube. Do it at your own risk, I guess. So yeah, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below about the orb that I saw. I don't know. Have you ever seen an orb in a camera, in a photo, in a video of yours? What do you know about orbs? I'm a little freaked out, to be honest. Yeah, oh, and on Brandon's channel, he should have his paranormal experiences up soon. His channel will be linked down below if you want to go check that out. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We are less than 5,000 away from 100,000 subscribers. We are getting close, so um, 
you know, let's just go on a subscribing spree. Everybody subscribe, you know? And don't forget to like up this video for paranormal stuff. Maybe I'll do some more in the future if anything else happens. Oh, and if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to my new vlog channel down below. I have a couple videos up there so far. I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, Panda Hugs, I love you guys. Bye!